If you record a lot of vocals, you do a lot of doubles, harmonies, things of that nature, and you want to get them sounding super tight and super professional, just like a commercial release, then Vocaline Project is a good place to start. And in today's tutorial, Izzy G is going to demonstrate how to take advantage of that in Logic Pro as a blind user with voiceover. But before we get into that, if you're new around here, then visit logic.band and sign up for the mailing list. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course among other goodies. Also, if you'd love to support logic.band, get yourself some extensive additional tutorials and attend a Q&A with me every month where you can ask me a question plus more, then consider becoming a member of the band. Visit logic.band slash member to find out more. With that out of the way, Izzy G, take it away. Have you always wished for tighter harmonies and ad-libs? Well, wish no more. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do just that with Vocal Align Project from Synchro Arts. Before we get started, there are a couple of prerequisites. Firstly, you will need Cheekim's VOCR, link in the description below. If you don't have it, grab it. Set it up and follow along if you so wish. Secondly, for those of us on Apple Silicon variant machines, we will need to be running Logic Pro in Rosetta mode. ARA is currently not supported in Apple Silicon mode on Logic. Fair warning, this is one of my first projects and I was honestly testing my limits to see if I could do some synth pop and harmonies. Hopefully this isn't too bad. I figured I would show this off because this really does show off projects attributes very well and what it can do for your productions. I'm going to play the chorus for you guys, first with the instruments and then with the vocal soloed so you can get a frame of reference of how the raw audio is supposed to sound. We are so happy Just you and me We share this entire world I'm so glad that you're my girl Now in solo We are so happy just you and me We share this entire world I'm so glad that you're my girl We're going to firstly set up our guide track, which is this top track here, named Vintage Vocal. I'm going to bring up the mixer and then instantiate Vocal Align Project on the first slot, as we want the cleanest, most direct audio so the algorithm can do its magic. We are so happy in Vintage Vocal. Setting. Game read on. Channel. In insert bar. Menu check mark. Vocal line project 5 AU. ARA. Vintage vocal. Now, if you don't see vocal line project in your recents, you go down to audio units, synchro arts, vocal line project, and then you want the AU ARA version. Hit enter on that, and you should see this window. Now, to voiceover, nothing appears. But with VOCR, we can access the controls that we need to make this work. Finished. Vintage vocal. We are looking for the capture under the guide track. So let's go find that right now. Manual. Under redo view. Vocal line project 5 Titus timing. Minus zero hours. Guide match timing. Guide. This track will contain the audio you are matching. One capture max difference. Just to make sure that my mouse is actually over the capture button, I'm going to press Control Command Left Arrow. One capture. ARA requires us to hit play and stop before we click the capture button. And now we click it. Now we have set our guide track. Command W does not work to close this window, at least for me it doesn't. And it never has. So. I'm going to manually close it and move on to the next track to select that as our dub. Vintage vocal. Close. Mixer. We are so happy. Like mixer. In mi mixer. Mixer. Audio 2. In audio 2. Th game. Uh, channel. Input 1. Insert bar. Menu check. Vocal line project 5 AU. ARA. Audio 2. Dialog. Audio 2. Audio 2. Now we're in here. Now I'm going to VOCR. Finished. And find capture under the dub. Dub. This. Loose tight. One capture to match the audio in the guide track above. OMS. Control command left arrow. One capture. To make sure the mouse is over the capture. Space twice, and click. Couple things to keep in mind before we start going down through the rest of these, and I'm actually just gonna cut the rest of this out because there are seven other tracks I need to do, and I'm sure you guys get bored fairly quickly. I'm just gonna cut it out and come back at you guys with the full-on time-aligned version of this. What I do want to mention, you probably heard Vocal Align Project 5 Titus Timing. That is where you pick your presets. Unfortunately, the presets is the main way that we drive this plugin. Fortunately, 99% of the time, this will work for you. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. Further down this window, you will see something that says max shift. And if it says 10ms, control command right arrow till you hear 10ms, VO shift space to click it 
and hit no limit. You're looking for something that says normal flexibility. You want to click this. This is also a drop down menu and you can use your up and down arrows as you normally would in a menu to navigate this menu. You want high flexibility. Menu. Lowest flex, low flex, normal flex, check mark, maximum compression, check mark, high flexibility. Audio 2. Mine was already on high flexibility, so I don't know why it told me normal flexibility in the window. So now that I've selected high flexibility, I'm going to go back up to capture, hit space twice, and then click capture again, just to make absolute certain that I'm getting the results that I want. Output alignment rule. One capture to one capture. Okay. No, smart align. Max shift, no limit. Just making sure that this says no limit. No limit. I'm going to click the menu just to menu. triple check. Check mark. No limit. There we go. Audio 2. Hit enter. It should remember these settings for the other seven tracks that I have to process. Unless there's a snag, I will see you guys on the flip side. Turns out it didn't write into a snag. I can easily explain it away. Don't use this with cycle mode on. It will keep giving you errors that guide or dub audio is missing. I'm going to play this to you guys in solo and then play with the instrumental. So you now can hear how Project has time aligned my chorus. We are so happy. Just you. And me, we share this entire world. I'm so glad that you're my girl. Now in context. We are so happy, just you and me. We share this entire world. I'm so glad that you're my girl. If you guys do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. This is a little finicky. Sometimes you run into the issue where it doesn't do what you want it to do. Sometimes you just gotta treat it with a little bit of elbow grease. I know one of the problems I had was one of the tracks, World, wasn't lining up with the rest of the Ds. It was very audible because everything else was tight except that. So what I had to do is I had to go up above the capture button for the dub track where it says loose tight and click on tight and that fixed it. This is a little bit of a learning curve but I believe that people can do it and it is very much worth the money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to the Oreo Monster or myself. Thank you guys for watching and happy recording.